Hi everyone. Sif Alchemist here. Today is a message from your guardian demons. And I'm going to invite you to pick one of the two piles that I have here from two different decks. The first one is the Thoth deck. And then we have this other beautiful deck here, which is themed as ancient Egypt. So feel free to pick the pile that resonates with you the most. This is a message from your guardian demons. Let's start with the Thoth deck. I'm just gonna channel whatever comes to me. What do you need to know right now? Uh, this is a message for you. Let's get right to it. Okay, so bottom of the deck, star, the star card, you're the star. You're the star, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you're gifted, you have powers and abilities, you're born different in a good way. You can see spirits, entities, demons. That's why this message is coming from your guardian demons. You have prophetic dreams. You're a gifted person. You're the star. So your guardian demons wants to tell you that. However, what came here in the other cards is a different story. You're the star. This is, I would say, what I'm hearing here is your higher self. This is your higher self. This is what you are. But the cards here are saying that you don't give value to yourself. You feel that you don't have enough uh, self-confidence. You don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in your powers. You don't believe that you can accomplish anything. You don't believe that you're gifted. You believe that um, whatever people say about you is, is true. You always look for people's validations, for people's opinions about you to see if you can validate yourself. You're always looking for these wrong things, these troublesome things about your soul, about who you are to validate and value yourself. So your guardian demons are telling you enough of this. Enough is enough. You can't do this anymore to yourself. You can't allow to do this anymore to yourself. You, you should respect yourself. Your guardian demons are asking you to respect your being, your soul, to respect who you are. You're the star. Why don't you be the star? You're powerful. You're magical. The star represents magic. It's Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius, the age of magic, the age of the veil thinning between the spiritual and the physical, the age of no BS. So why don't you become a representation of that? Why don't you become the star? Why are you looking? Why are you seeking the validation of the sheep? Are you a sheep? Is that what you are? You're seeking validation for the sheep. So you're a sheep, right? You want to be just like everybody else. And you know what these sheep are going to do to you? They're just going to bring you down over and over. They're going to keep telling you that you're not good enough. Or they're going to keep telling you that you're, uh, you're okay, you know, to keep you at their level. And you're going to always, you're never going to get anyone to tell you who you truly are or your highest potential or your true potential. So drop this right now. You're the star. Be the star. That's all I'm hearing from, you know, the message when it comes from guardian demons, usually it's very straightforward. It's very direct. It's very to the point. There's no, there's no like, you know, there's no swerving or whatever, like, you know, uh, sugar coating. 
I'm hearing they're saying, be the star. You're the star, be it. That's it. They're actually not even, they're kind of um, not disappointed. They're just like, you know, this card flipped on its own while I was shuffling. And it's, it's again, it's the same message. The virtue, these three of wands, which you have, which you are, you're just deliberately choosing to ignore it, to negate it, to, to, to annihilate it, to remove it from your life. It's almost like you're self-destroying yourself. So I'm hearing your guardian's demons saying, what is this? What are you doing? What is it? What's wrong with you? Give value to yourself. Give value to yourself. You're the star. People should listen to you, not the other way around. People should get inspired by you, not the other way around. People should come to you for confidence and advice, not the other way around. Otherwise, you're going to fail. It's failure. Failure here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This failure here, th this card can come in different messages depending on the, the reading, depending on the situation. But for this situation, for this reading, for this pile, it represents failure. It means that not only you're failing yourself, you're failing your guardian demons as well. You're failing your spirits. It's like, it's like a company that's relying on this major key role position and it's probably like either CEO or director, some super important position in a company, but then by you not being you and not doing what you're supposed to do for yourself, you're failing the, the whole company. The whole company is failing. It's like a, it's like a CEO who's, 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 who's a, lousy, a lousy CEO gives birth to a lousy company. Don't be a lousy CEO. Don't be it. Because many other things depend on it, not just you. It's you, of course, your being, your soul, your spirit, but also your guardian demons and your guardian spirits and the people around you and many other things that you're not even aware of. It's time to trigger that potential that you have, your highest potential, the star. It's time to trigger it. It's time to become it. Empress, you're the Empress, you're the Empress. And this is what you should seek. You should seek to become the Empress because you are the star. Wisdom, knowledge, inspiration, guiding, showing the way, that beauty, that glory, that calm, that divinity, not light. Stop talking about light. Oh, love. It's light. It's got to be. Light. I'm not talking about light here. There's nothing to do with light. What I just mentioned, the above, could actually emanate from darkness. Okay? You could be the most divine, the most loving, the most beautiful, the most glorious, the most knowledgeable, the most wise empress while being dark powerful intimidating okay that's who you are and that's what you need to become and one last card i'm going to move to the other pile because the guardian demons are asking me to kind of stop the way out of this so this pile told you what what's going on but the only way to transform and to become the empress that you are is to work on it. Three of Pentacles, you need to work. You need to start the work, work on yourself, invest in yourself, treat yourself, speak to yourself. What are the bad behaviors you're doing? Stop giving value to others, start valuing yourself. Stop giving everything to others, give to yourself. Build your dream, build your, seek the things that you seek, the things that give you love and value and pleasure it's time to focus all of the attention all of the energy onto you everything has to revolve around you 
And I don't care if people start saying, that's selfish. That's not what, uh, uh, that's not what spirituality is about. Yeah? Well, you think we're dwelling in religion here? This is not religious content. We're not talking for religious people that you should put yourself in the garbage and give everything else to others. Okay? I'm here, Seth Alchemist, your guardian demons, is here to tell you that you are important first. Yes, everything should revolve around you first. And then worry about the others. That's what I have for you. Let's move on to the other pile, which is this Egyptian, ancient Egyptian deck. I'm going to just let up smoke and change up the energy a little bit. Here, your guardian demons. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, well. Well, that's uh, crazy. Hold on, let me double check. Three major arcanas at the same time. Three major arcanas showed up and all upright. Judgment, emperor, and the hermit. Who are you guys who picked this pile? Who are you? You guys are... Now, hold on, this is very interesting. You guys are what pile number one, the Thoth deck, should aspire to become. Okay, so for you guys, the ones who picked the Thoth deck, you should aspire to become like the people who picked this pile. Aspire to become because that's your potential. Three major arcanas, emperor, Hermit and judgment. All upright. You're an emperor. You're powerful. You're dark. You're intimidating. You give value to yourself. You give orders. You tell people what to do. People come to you for advice. People listen to what you say. People do what you say. You're the emperor. We have the hermit. You're wise. Hermes, stress, magistus. Alchemy, magic, wisdom, ancient knowledge. You all have it. And if you don't have it all, you're in the quest of having it. And every time you need to hermit in order to do the necessary research for your growth and for your empowerment, you do it. Because you're the hermit. Upright. Showed up here. And then we have judgments. This is amazing. Judgments. You don't judge others. You don't judge yourself. There's nothing that you care about other than your quest for growth, for expansion, for becoming God-like, because you are the God of your own reality. There's no one God out there like what people love to believe because they're giving their power to something else. Everyone at the end of the day is dying to give their power to someone else because the most scary things to do is to give power to yourself and to declare that you are the God and you are the Goddess. Oh, that's very scary, right? That's very scary. Only few humans can do that. Only few. Because it's so scary to declare that you are the God. And I mean it in the literal sense of the term. Not just like, oh, you're a goddess, you're such a goddess, you're such a god. Like what people blah, blah, blah all the time. I mean actual God. Actual God. And in alchemy, Hermes Trismegistus wrote about this in Asclepius in his dialogues. If you read Asclepius, and I have a video where I talk about this in this channel, you can check it out. If you don't put yourself at the level of creation, at the level of the God, if you don't put yourself at that level, how can you even evolve as a spirit? How? You're going to always become 
a reincarnated human. You're going to come back over and over and over and over. And you're going to always be following others. So you guys are amazing. This is... Wow. Like, this is, this is powerful. And look at the cards, how the imagery here, like, you're... You're the, you're the depiction of the ultimate divine. And you guys who pick this and you think that what I'm saying is off or you don't have it, I need you to know that you have it, that you are this. You are. And it's probably for you, it's so easy for you to manifest anything you want. It's so easy for you to get anything you want because you're on the way to becoming godlike. So... This is amazing. You guys, wow. Let me pick a couple more cards because your guardian demons, not only they're proud of you, but they, they're they telling me that they don't even see the need to support you because you got it figured out. You got things figured out. They're still going to support you when needed, but it's it's um, it's like you, ha you have it. It's like you got it. See if there's something here to clarify. Wow. And okay. This is live. Okay. This is, there's no cut in here. I don't. If if this is not crazy or magic, I don't know what is. Another major arcana. The fourth one. The moon. Reversed. What is this? This is spooky. And the moon reversed, saying that. Not only you're powerful, you're an emperor, you're wise, you're majestic, but you're not scared. You don't have any fear. That means you've been embracing your darkness. That's amazing. That means you've been embracing your darkness and you know what darkness is all about. The moon reversed. In this situation, the moon means all of the fears that you have to deal with. You, over, you overcame that. It's gone. There's no fears. Who are you? You're crazy. In a good way. In a very, very good way. And this reading is, is like, this reading is so awesome. It's, this is one of the rarest readings where I get something like this. It's all major arcanas. What? I'm just double checking the cards to see that I'm, yes. Guardian demons are asking me to stop here because I'm not gonna this reading is this reading is too awesome to go any further. This is the highest it gets at, you know? It's too awesome to to go any further or to spoil it. I'm gonna leave it here. You guys are amazing, you're doing great. Keep on doing what you're doing, keep being the amazing souls that you are. You're gonna change the world, you're gonna inspire a lot of people, you're gonna make miracles happen in your life that's amazing and that's what i have for you thank you guys for watching i hope this helped i appreciate your comments your subscriptions your likes and watching these videos i'll see you in the next video Just for it.